So welcome to edition 3 of uh, new tools and contraptions where I want to show you what new things arrived in the in the shop in the last weeks and to start everything off I've got here these really nice hole punches and there's quite uh, a few big ones and also a handful of the smaller ones and most of them are in pretty good shape so a little bit de-rusting and cleaning will take good care of them and turn them all into really nice workable tools for leather working and all sorts of prop making another nice a new toy is this uh, little shaving shaving plane with just a rounded sole so it's perfect to work on rounded objects and so forth and I can't see if it's a real real Stanley or if it's sort of a knockoff but no matter what after sharpening the iron it will be a good in good working condition and will be a great helper in the future. I saw this nice book and just couldn't pass it. Um, so it's, it's mostly big pictures here and, and information. And it starts off talking about how back in the day in huge factories they were building things. Um, how those big machines were used and what they were used for. For example here there's a guy inside a boiler riveting the boiler together, giant machines for metalworking, for food industry. Giant buildings. So a nice read through and getting at some information about the past. Another new toy that I got recently to mostly to clean the um, stairs in the new house is this um, special grinder. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really nervous to check it out and see how it performs in cleaning all the old uh, lacquer and gunk from the carpet off of the stairs. And uh, can't wait to check it out. So you ever had the need to grab a, like a piece of drain pipe or so with a with a pair of pliers. Yeah, for something like a drain pipe you'd need a really wide set of pliers and sometimes you can't just fit them in there. And well, a few days ago I found out they make pliers that are linked with a chain. So you can get into really tight spaces. You can grab things that are huge and then you can turn them with the force required. Which is awesome. So I had to get one of these. And guess what? I like it. It's so cool. And next time a huge piece of drain pipe comes up and is stuck somewhere and needs to be twisted out, got the right tool on hand. So during the renovation of the house, the need for 
a nice pair of, of a pipe plier came up so I bought this little one and hopefully I will be prepared for the next pipe issues So here's a little gimmick that came in the post recently. It's used to um, mark the mark leather when you want to stitch it. So you have a consistent um, distance from the border to where your stitches are going. It's locked here and then you can just drag it along the edge. So probably in the future when I have to do Something with leather. My stitches will look, look very much better and more precise. Looking forward to that. And here's something really cool. You can guess what it is. It's a little Russian made um, Morse. Which yeah needs a little cleanup and yeah, maybe a little love and then I can try to hook it up to some sort of a buzzer or a, a bell and have a really cool piece at my desk at work. And have everybody who comes in play with it. The reconstruction of the house we bought is, is making good progress. But in the meantime, I just had to do some other project to get my head free from some of the, the things that are, have to be decided in the house. And yeah, so I made this prototype for a tray that I can use to put all the tools that tend to roll away like drill bits or end mills or reamers or things that I use when working in the workshop and yeah I really like this concept you can put all the things in there nothing's rolling around falling off the bench and for the next iteration I will try to make the the spacing a little tighter so you can put more things in there so you can maybe even use it as a lay-in for my drawers to organize all the tools and drills and things and yeah when I'm happy with the design I will do a video of how I do it and show you guys which is not that complicated but it's something in the meantime since I, until I can get back to, to bigger and nicer projects. Yeah, and now guess what this lovely piece of equipment is. In German it's called a Mahlspieker, or in the English term would be a, um, a an aid for splicing wires or ropes. And you can get those strands apart and put another strand in and it, yeah it's right from China it wasn't that expensive but it will be so useful in the future when I'm doing work with wires and have the appropriate tool to splice them correctly together and I guess the last tool for today is this little monstrosity here which was just a really good deal but yeah I originally wanted it to uh, weld up the um, belts for the watchmaker's lathe but yeah that's just a number too big so I'll see what I can do with it maybe I can use it to solder SMD parts to, to PCBs 
and make a little PCB toaster with it. Or I might even just sell it on to somebody who needs it to weld plastic pipes together because at the moment I can't see <laughs> any time in the future when I have to where I have to weld huge plastic pipes together. But yeah, let's see what happens and it will find a use, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs>